under attack. Taking damage. Shields offline. attack taking internal damage hull integrity critical shields online under attack taking damage shields offline Shields online. Cannot comply. Cannot comply. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Hey there, Mr. Unicellular. How are you? Doing better than me. <laughs> I had to step away from my uh, my ship and came back back into the game and got scanned and attacked. A two e draconids. Hey, on. Any better or still too loud?
My day has been okay. Apart from um, starting the game back up and, as I suspected, getting scanned by some pirates and not giving them the seven tons of Alexandrite that they wanted. Which is why you see my hull down to 14%. We shall get it repaired and get back to doing some uh, doing some more mining. Once I've stopped doing the loop of shame, I can't multitask quite clearly. How's it all going? Yeah, it's uh, just after 11 o'clock over here. There's not another person who wants to get me. They're all out to get me this evening, so it's not good. Hold on. Dock here, and then... The Thargoid Shrieks you're talking about, or my music choice. <laughs> Two. No, just the one. Just the one. Are you watching it on mobile? I wonder if I've got my... Um, Let me just check something on Twitch itself. Scan detected. I wonder if it is. Uh, Ah, here we go. I wonder if it's that. Hmm. I wonder if it was that. I was using that. I had been using that Twitch overlay thing extension. I've just switched it off. Is that still now showing stuff? Over there. Permission granted. Clock route for approach to landing pad 
Your showing. Only got one chat box on this, so I don't know what's going on there. Okay, I'm just going to dock my ship here and I'll take a look. Has it on mine? Let me just land this and then we'll have a look at that chat box. Peculiarity. You found it? What was it? Yes, I've turned that off. I've decided it was an extension. I had that running as well, so I've switched it off. I wonder if it's no, that's number eighteen. Goes the wrong one. Yeah, I've um, I use Twitch overlay sometimes if I'm doing um, console streaming might, I think, get rid of it. Um, it's good. It's a nice tool to have, but it only works on PC. And it only works on, yeah, let's look them over. Yeah, of course, Ken. Not a problem. Not a problem. You get docked first of all. No, no pop for that one yet. I have to sort that out. But this is all good feedback for for me. So I shall definitely make notes of all this sort of stuff. Thank you. Much appreciated. So this um Discord server is actually the it's it's the squadron that I belong to. Um let me just see if this is gonna be one <laughs> Right. Oh, that was proper messy, wasn't it? Yeah, bloody hell. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that. I might do. I might do. Um... Maybe I'll say, I mean, I have got a Discord, as you found out, I have got a Discord channel. So whether I use my own one or whether I, um, do you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, maybe set up a server for myself. Yeah. Might not be a bad idea. See, you stumble into my stream. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you, stumble, you stumble into my stream and you've got these ideas that I've not even really thought about. Yeah, I mean, I've got a, I look after a Discord um, server for the squadron I belong to. Um, so I've, I've sort of got all the permissions sorted out for that and I'm looking at getting bots in place to do that sort of thing. So, um, 
whether I do my own Twitch or not, I don't know. It might not be a bad idea, actually. It might not be a bad idea. Perhaps I'll work on that tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'll do that tomorrow. So, Draconians, what I'll do, I will... Um, I'm going to stand up another server tomorrow for me. And I will... And for this channel. And I'll make that link available. Um, yeah. I will do that. I think that makes more sense. That is very good to know, Mr. Unicellular. That's um yeah. I I I uh, I appreciate that uh, it's a bit amateurish. <laughs> but any any help, any help is always a good thing. Thank you. Much appreciated. Just for your info, what I'm using, you probably can tell me, I'm using uh, slobs. I've got voice meter for splitting out the audio stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm, I, th I think I understand the basics. It's just sort of... Uh... Okay, that's interesting. I find slobs a bit easier, to be honest, than, um, str uh, than stream uh, OBS, standard OBS. Sell some of that. Not much. Yeah, I use voice meter. Um, I have been using, I mean, the music that's playing is using Twitch soundtrack. Um, I was using pretzel music, uh, but I'm not paying for it. So I've got all the, every five seconds you're getting sort of links to the, the track that's being played. So, right. No, no, that that is, uh, yeah. The impression of being free. Let's just go with that. Yes, yeah, so I mean, I've taken off that that um Twitch overlay. Manage, I've I've disabled that now through Twitch. That shouldn't be causing a problem again. Um. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, no, I, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. The funny thing was, the other night I was um, I was streaming and I noticed the icon kept coming up on my mobile device. I kept meaning to make sure that I switched it off. Clearly I hadn't, so I forgot and still got around to it. So, but Thank you.
fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. <laughs> yes, it is a Type 9. It is a Type 9, um, because I know some people think it's a bit bizarre that I'm using a Type 9 for mining, but basically I think that if you're going to go mining, it's got like a proper mining ship. So that's that's the reason why. That is the reason why Major Reserves. Yeah, you get quite a nice field of view from it. It's actually quite, and for a big ship, it's quite an easy ship to land as well. Um... Because of where the cockpit's situated, it's uh, it's quite an easy one to get into the uh, into the mail slot. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. I mean, I had a Type Ten, which I also use for mining, but on on the console. Um, but the Type Ten, yeah, it's an absolute pig for maneuver. Um, and certainly it's not much fun trying to outrun NPCs that might try and interdict you when you've got a load of uh, valuable resources. I know some people have been saying use the Python for, um, for mining. My understanding is that the Type 10 was designed as a, an anti-Thargoid Hulk, basically. You know, once you've loaded up all the weapons and stuff, it's quite a formidable, um, albeit slow, uh, battle cruiser. Hulk, I should say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think with a with a Type Ten, if you fully load it up, it's it is quite a formidable um, anti Zeno. Uh, I've got nothing worth interdicting. What are you doing? Here we go. Yeah, the um, Type 10, and the Type 9 is it's a bit more manoeuvrable than a uh, bit more manoeuvrable than a Type than a Type 10. But I certainly wouldn't, um, yeah, don't enjoy the uh, trying to avoid interdictions like I was just doing then. Come on. Properly, come on. I'm in a, an absolute mare this evening. So I have been mining monazite recently because that's been fetching quite a nice value, nice price, but that's plummeted quite a bit. So I'm going to go back to um, Void Opals. Uh, there's a couple of stations I've seen which apparently, and a fleet carrier, apparently fairly close to where I am, which is selling or buying Void Opals at quite a hefty price. So. 
we should check it out. Okay. Let's have a look. Fast. Oh. Okay, okay, let's reply to him. Okay, let's see if we we'll spot any up in there. Devoid or void opals at the moment. Nothing, 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 nothing glowing for me. Nothing at all. Is that something over there? We have some. Thank you very much. That's nothing. That could be something over there. Little nuggets of orangey goodness. Nice one, okay. I may look at into that. Thank you so much, Mr. Unicellular.
Programming Limit Drone. Prospect really? Limit engaged. Oh, bloody Gromolite. Not interesting. Asteroid scan complete. I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, will do. Over there. That's not long. There's lots of orangey ones here, but nothing. Nothing good enough. Oh, very quiet. I have to different hotspot. I think so. No. Not going to be one, is it? Hmm. 
No, didn't think so. Yeah, this is only a... It's not a pristine... It's um, major reserves only, so I don't know. I don't know. The question is how long do I pursue this before I get up and go to a different one? I could go back to that other system where the planet is pristine, but it's hardly touched. Um, there's one over there, yeah? which there. I don't think that's going to be one. No. Platinum? Do you know what? I don't know. Um, let's have a quick look on Inara, see what it has to say. Let's have a quick, quick squeeze of that. Platinum. Not bad. It's, um, yeah, maximum of 287,000, according to Inara. Um, so look, quantity list. The best selling. Mineral, if you're looking at minerals, the average is monazite still. Monazite is the best, well, is, is the best average sell. Um, Muscovite is almost 1 million, it's 935,000. Uh, yeah, void opals and rod plumsite. It's also quite high up there. Platinum maximum selling price of that is... I can't see from there. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's about 200,000. Yeah. Muscovite is the best selling one. Um... The most you can get for that is just under a million per unit. Monazite is there, um, which is what I have been mining. But I took it to the wrong place to sell it, which is, that's my own fault. You know what? I'm going to go back to do some more Monazite. It's more reliable, right, at the moment. Let's go back here. And then... Thanks for the follow, Mr. Unicellia. Much appreciated. And thanks for the uh, tips and advice as well. I should definitely uh, make a note of that and make some changes where needed. Much appreciated. Yeah. Monocyte seems to win that. 
that system I'm going to be heading back to, it's um, the the rings are still pristine, so um, it's quite a good yield from it. Cannot comply. That helps, doesn't it? Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Let's have a look. So, Monazite, uh, what I am going to do, HIP one, five, six, three, I think that's the one. And we're going to go for not three carriers, yes. So, yeah, I mean, I can get just under 600,000 Monazite if I go and sell it at a fleet carrier in both of them. Now, I think that is from a couple of days ago. So, how long is it? Oh, no, 38 minutes ago. So, that's pretty much up to date, which is good. Shift drive charging. I forget how often. I mean, let's say the, the planet I'm going Four, to is um, three, two, one, engage. Is pristine. I forget how frequently they update themselves. Um, you know, pristine planets, the ones you um, you want to be mining the rings of. Fuel scooping. What's this? Fuel scoop disengaged. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Yeah, I definitely have better luck at this this next system. Opponents. I think it had some void opals there as well, so I'm you never know. I might get lucky. I might get lucky. Frame shift drive charging. I'm in my refinery at the moment. Void opal, Four, yeah. Three, two, one, engage. Oh, my game glasses drops out. <laughs> What are you doing at the moment, Mr. Uh, Unicellia, in the, in the in the galaxy? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, certainly, my jump range at the moment is not great. Um, unladen it should be twenty three. Excellent. Excellent. No, I mean, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Frame shift drive charging. Oh, my game glasses craps out of me again. <laughs> Four. Three, two, one, engage. 
Great sound, fine, okay. I love Game Glass, it's a fantastic bit of software, but it does like to crash out every now and then. <laughs> Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. Yeah, the only trading I tend to do is, is, the, is the selling of stuff that I've mined. Um, unless, of course, it's in a mission where you've got to take goods from one system to another. Um, Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay. You are a fantastic help, though. I shall definitely take a look at that and have a, give it a one saver. Wind stars, look at that. Fuel scooping. Stay. Fuel scoop disengaged. No. Oh, it's going to do this again. This, it did this to me last night. Okay, what have we got here? We have got pristine reserves. And funnily enough, mapped by one of my squadron chums. Pristine reserves there. Pristine reserves here. Oh, pristine. Maybe I should check this out. Check it out. Let's check it out. I'll definitely check it out. It probably won't be until tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Actually, what's the other? How long is that going to take me to get there? Uh... Okay. Yes, this is what I, I... Yeah, I mean, I do something similar on the the squadron server we've got. We've got, like, yeah, we've got the welcome. I make use of the... Um, what's the name of the bot? It's the uh, Me6 bot, which allows, you know, people who come into it can choose what channels they have access to by selecting an emoji or a letter or something um but at the moment i've got the limited version of that so you can only do like two choices if you want to have multiple choices it's, it costs about, it's about 80 quid for a, a lifetime okay there we go i'm gonna try Dino bots. Okay, okay. It's one I've not come across that. I'll look at that one. They got quite a nice uh, browser interface to configure it. Or is it all done via the sort of Discord commands? Okay. Yeah, me six. Fuel 
Surface scan complete. Uh, what's this got here for me to look at? So we've got monazite, we've got platinum, we've got rod plumzites, um, serendibites, rod plum painite. Oh, those days are gone, painite, those days are gone. Let's check out. Well, this is pristine, so apparently. Yeah, what's. I've. I've I tried um, YAG PDB. Just couldn't get on with it. Just I don't know. I just yeah. There's quite a few bots. There's quite a few bots to choose from for Discord. Guess it's the case of trial and error and trying to work out which one suits or fits best. I mean, the, the Squadron Discord just needs a massive overhaul anyway, so. Um, that's definitely one for me to look into. Yeah. Oh, yes. There was quite a few. I mean, I had quite a few for, um, specific to Elite. Um, but it just got to the stage where people were using them. It was just, it was just basically spamming, flooding the channel with stuff on it. So it's self defeating. Let's have a look. Let's see if we've got anything here. This is a pristine ring. And nothing yet. Okay. Come on. No, no. Oh, there was uh, one over there, I guess, but... Looked a bit more yellowy than the other ones. But still. Type nine, okay. That is over there, I think. Look at that spec. There we go. I think this is one. On its own. Let's just hope it's monazite. Well, I don't know now. I think it is. I think I've come all this way for a tough bit of rock. It was a tough bit of rock. Damn it. Oh, 
I've had some really successful nights over the past few days, but this is turning to be a bit of a wild goose chase. Excellent. I've got absolute, absolutely nothing at the moment. Hello. I see something orange in front of me. There I hope. It looks a bit popcorn shapes. It is glowing orange. But I don't know. No, I don't think it is. It's not uniform. Oh. Denied. <laughs> it's rapidly turning into the colour of despair. Honestly, the other night I was like, I, I, I was getting every other rock I was finding was a was a motherload one. What I'm finding at the moment is massive golden grains. Hello, hello. Could this be one? Could this be one? Or oh, is this one I've actually scanned before? But I realise I have been going round and round and round in circles. Oh, hello. This is this is looking promising. This is looking very promising. It better be monazite. We're going to be water or something. There's one to the left of it as well. I really... Oh my goodness, have I just found two? <laughs> yes, famous last words. No, look. Could that be two next to each other as well? No. Right. What's this? Please be monazite if you are going to be a mother load. Prospect yep, okay. Right, let's go and look at this other one because I think that might be one as well. No. Asteroid scan complete. You know, okay. We got here. That is an average strength one. Well. High strength one. Well, okay. So we want to go. Not that way. Sequence 
average strength. Okay. Low strength. Over egg it a tiny bit. No. Okay. Of course, you're not going to be good to me today, are you? You're going to be. This is where a ship that can be manoeuvred better would be good for me. Oh, come on. Low no strength. That'll do. Maybe over egged it a tiny bit, but it should be alright. Do that, I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do. Uh, yeah, yeah. May not get the full amount, but. In 10 seconds. That's all right. That'll do. It's fine. It's not a massive yield because I stuffed up, but. Right. Retracted. 
Here we go. I don't know. I don't know. Programming limit drone. Prospector limit engaged. Summary. Any subsurface? Asteroid scan complete. Right. Drinks. I'm good. Got to be something around here. I've lost the power, one of my screens. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> the furthest I've been, um, I have been out to Beagle Point. Um, that took ages. And it's a very, very, very solitary experience. <laughs> it takes a long time it's um it's it's i did it because it had to be done you know um there's not a great deal to, well there wasn't a great deal to see there when i went there uh i think it's more than that i think it's like sixty thousand. takes ages absolutely ages Been to Sagittarius A, that's good. Mainly because of the sequence initiated. I think it's about that, yeah. It took ages. And there's not a great deal to see there. Once you get yeah, once you're there, it's there's not a great deal. Um yeah, it's it's not there's not much. I mean, when I went there, there was nothing else out. There was before fleet carriers, but now there'll be a, there'll be like a handful of fleet carriers there, and it's it's a bit more to see. At least you can sort of stock up on stock up on things. This is not giving me anything, is it really? Yeah, that's that's what I did it for. Bragging rights, really, more than anything else. Um, but if you're going to do a journey of that length, you really... A couple of AFMUs. Um, you also want, I would say, Packer Repair Controller as well. Oh, and a decent fuel scoop. And just be mindful of the fact that when you get closer to Beagle Point, you have to um, you have to really sort of map out the route you're going to take because the number of the number of um, systems you can jump to becomes fewer and far between. Detonation in ten seconds. That's a much better detonation. Look at that. I mean, if you get, I mean, so I, I, I think it took me because I, I sort of spread it out over quite. I wasn't playing every night. It probably took me about two or three months to go out there and come back, which is ridiculous, you know. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to. Do... Programming limit drone. Programming limit drone. Programming limit drone. Programming limit drone. Cargo scoop deployed. Programming limit drone. Programming limit drone. Let me find out exactly how far it is. Of the EDSM it. Yeah. Beagle Point. It's yeah. Beagle Point is sixty-five thousand light years from Sol. That's a hell of a trek. Wow. Programming limit drone. There's so much to see though. I mean, there's um quite close to the bubble as well. I mean, you've got uh yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, that's one word for it. <laughs> yeah. You need to pack some sandwiches and some decent music. Um, place I did enjoy going to visit was um, Meter on Hollow. That is hilarious. Expired. To land on that planet is is it, it's not difficult, but you have to be um, you have to be aware of how to land on that planet. Can't just plonk yourself fire. down. I do it in? I think I, I did it in ASPX. I don't know. I don't know. I've not heard it ever be mentioned it was a deliberate... Uh, it was a bug. Um, I like to think it was, it's, done, it's done deliberately. It's just... It's just genius. Yeah, I think I did meet Ron Hall at an ASPX. That was back in my console days, not not PC days. Yes, really. So I lost all that shield, didn't I? I guess what I should be doing really is doing a lot of this stuff again. Now I'm on PC. Um, uh, the thought of going out to Beagle Point again, just... Uh, no. No. It would just take bloody ages. Where's the other one? Away from this side, okay. I did pay a visit to those two planets that were colliding um, a couple of weeks ago. And uncovered all sorts of bugs, which was uh, yeah interesting. Yep. <laughs> I, there, yeah, I, I, I've heard of this. I don't know. I don't know. Um. If you watch the videos of Beagle Point, it looks like the video has been sped up, but it's not. It's actually real time, inverted commas. don't know I don't know I thought Beagle Point I heard well 
sure there was a case of somebody who flew out this is a while ago now flew out just basically left their ship flying went out for a few days came back and they'd gone to the the farthest edges of the known galaxy and they had to get fuel rats to go out to refuel them to bring them back That's most likely the case. I mean, there's, they've, I don't think even one percent of the of the galaxy's been discovered yet. You know, there's there's so much out there. Let's do some more. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back better days. Oh, uh, let's see, it's... Cargo scoop retracted. You just... I take pride in the fact that I've never actually run out of fuel, so so far, touch or mica or whatever sort of wood this is my desk is made out of. It's popcorn shaped, but is it the right sort of orange? Nope. There's one I just saw. There's one over there. Would they honestly turn up if you were that far away? I, I don't know if they would. I don't know if they would. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd be like, suicide yourself back. <laughs> Which is why I could never be a fuel rat. I would just be there laughing at people. How do you get yourself in that situation? <laughs> There's lots of little nuggets, little golden grains. That's the only one that has stayed yellow still. That's to be with pot drip. No, he wouldn't have got that to 65,000 there and back. Did actually do when I when I on the way back from Beagle Point, there was uh, one of the <laughs> that's the one, yeah. So they just left their PC on for two days, and. Flew in Super Cruise for 48 hours. I want to know how it was they didn't. They must have directed it every so often. 
It's not that you're bound to fly into something, aren't you? Otherwise. Hilarious. I, I, that still makes me chuckle. I think that's brilliant. The fact that someone sat down and thought, you know what, let's give that a try. Let's see what happens if I do this. Somebody sent me a video, a link the other day to um, the commander. I forget his name. But he. Um, See how hot he could get his shit. And it basically meant he was just he was just flying round and round and round a star, dumping heat sinks every few seconds. But he got his um he managed to get his shit to something like three thousand percent hotter than it should have been. Don't know how. It was just crazy, absolutely crazy, just to prove that he could. No power to that spot. Yeah. I'll see if I can find the link. Yeah, it's... Let me just ease back on the throttle here for a second. I wanna... I'll see if I can find the video. No worries, Draconis. Take it easy, 07, Commander. Another late one, my friends. You need some sleep. Take it easy. Catch you soon. I have to say, it's been rubbish tonight for mining. Deep core, anyway. think this is one but we'll see nope that's not one what's are these rocks going to show me some of that what's this one got let's have a look No. <laughs> Limpid drone error. Deploy cargo hatch. Cargo scoop deployed. Zirconium? Okay, what's that going? Is that... 
very much. The Zakane is quite a good one to have, I think. Programming limit drone. Prospector limit engaged. No, it's just a random fragment of Zirconium. Asteroid scan complete. Interested in don't really want. I want tritium, not for the time being, not for the time being. Oh my god, look at that. As if by magic. Big orange orb of loveliness. And there's another one over there as well. Oh. Would you look at that? Asteroids are also complete. fetching a tidy little sum at the moment. Okay, so. We're going to go to this one here because that is low straight. Let me go for that one. Go for this one here. It's a high strength though. Detonation sequence initiated. Detonation sequence expired. Initiated. A low one, is it? We can over egg it a bit. Shall we over egg it? What do it? That's another high one. We go for a high one here. No, 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 no. Low strength one. That'll do. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Here we go. This is going to be almost perfect, I think. Detonation in ten seconds. Programming Limit Drone. 
Bandit Driver. Programming Bandit Driver. Cargo scoop deployed. Collector limpet expired. Programming limpet drone. Programming Limpet Drone. Collector Limpet expired. So, Rod Plumsite appears to be where it's at at the moment. Well, I think there's a fleet carrier nearby which will pay good money for that. We'll find out later on. Hey! Collector limit expired. Hey, doing, Armando? So. Yeah, Monazite, it's, yeah, it's a better system than the last one, but it's still not offering up what I want. <laughs> what are you sighing for? What's happened? Is it just me doing my mining in my T9? I'm just not paying attention to what I should be doing here. There we go. Yeah. Collector limit expired. Programming limit drone. We've got left here. Loads. Loads. Loads of these bad boys to pick up. There's one on that one, there's one here. I have to smash my ship into that. Collector limit expired. Go, got some of that. Which planet's that? I take it it's not one you can land on or so. Are you perchance in Sol orbiting Earth?
Here we go. Two more left, and I can go and play. Good job. Let's go out of here. Programming limit drone. Programming limit drone. Who have we got now? Twenty two mons night, eleven of those. And get a drink quickly. That a lot. That's that last bit. Why are you not picking it up? Right, let's try and see if there's anything else out that look at this, these little orange things. Cargo scheme retracted. That looks like it could be one. I think that's another one. I think I've had a bit of luck tonight with the uh, deep call. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Having second thoughts. Is that going to go out? Yeah, that's not one of those. Ooh. Oh, it did it to me last night. I was jumping into a system and it just sat there and it sat there and it sat there and after about it felt like an eternity I got the good old fashioned orange sidewinder error but yeah not good Two to my right might be. And there is one which has just lit up.
That's looking promising. Who is it? I don't know. What to tell? No, it wasn't promising at all. It was a massive red herring. And I fell for it. I need to do some mining in VR. I think I might set that up at some point. Because I'll be able to just look around and I see. There we go. Over there in the distance. Look at that. Got to be one. Got to be one. Got to be one. It's not one. Oh. My head. No. Hello. There's no. Good. It needs to expire. It's been doing nothing for the past 15 bloody minutes. Right. I'm going to give it five more minutes. If I don't find anything in five more minutes, I'm going to take what I've got. Did you look at that? The orange gods must have heard me. Oh, look at you. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Please be monazite. I don't want rod plumzite or whatever the hell it is. And don't fly into the rock. That was a stupid thing to do. Yeah, that's definitely one. Definitely one. There as well. Right. So programming limit drone. Prospect of that we are happy with. Asteroid scan complete. I hope there are forwards. Board is always preferable. Don't go low strength either. No strength will get get you nowhere. Average strength. Yeah, we'll go average. There we go. Sequence initiated. I've got to find other. Is that a low strength one? I think it is, isn't it? It's a low strength one. We'll over egg it. Okay. 
over Eggy. Over Eggy. Okay. And that's another low strength one. Over Eggy that one as well. And then we're going to go for this one, which happens to be high strength, which means it's going to completely balls everything up. And... No, not strong enough. Go for that one there. So it's going to be too strong. Good. Uh, Disarm that one. Oh no, it's not really hitting hell. Too late. Detonation in ten seconds. Detonation failed. Yeah, well. That's my fault for disarming that one. I disarmed the wrong one. What a pillock. What an absolute 2L. That's a physio. Okay, we're going to go for a high one there. It is a high one. Detonation sequence initiated. Mm. Just do it. Be done with it. Deploy cargo hatch. Cargo scoop deployed. Nulls this one right up. I don't care. Collector limit expired. Detonation in ten seconds. T-Bears. Was Nay too bad? Didn't do that. What did I do? Programming limit drone. 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 I wish there was a way to launch the maximum number of limpid drones limit drone. in one go. Instead of having to do one at a time. Collector limit expired. That would make me happy. Let's be Yeah, I got him as well. Uh -huh. Collector limit expired. Good. Good, good. Collector limit expired. Programming limit drone. Right, okay. Just Oh, yeah, that was my drone flying, actually. 
bloody stupid drone. Just lodge them all and oh, yeah, I need to put my shields back up. Oh, let's do that, shall we? Hull integrity compromised. Shields offline. Taking damage. You know. Get away from it, you killer. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Shields online. I play. My French. Anything else? Programming hmm. limit drone. I've done this before. I don't know if it's worth prospecting rocks after you've paying them for everything. Programming limit drone. No. No, there's not. They don't take. Okay. What are we doing? Cargo scene retracted. 37 ones and I, 14 rod plums I. Let's see. There is what you carry. Quite some journey away. And being so far away, I am leaving myself well open to interdiction. It might be worth doing it. Let's go to my faithful friend, Inara. Or is that 100 light years away? So it's about eight jumps. That's for the Monza, right? About Rod Plum's eye. Right? It's the same fleet carrier. It's the slap. Sure of it. H seven eight seven five X. Yeah. Right, we're gonna both though. Don't think you're gonna be one, are you? Both though. Both though. No, oh, I'll try. Programming limit drone. Prospector limit engaged. <laughs> Where's my prospect? Is it really? Did you do that? Drone. Oh, I'm just, I didn't pay attention. Prospect Olympic engaged. Nope. Right, we're gonna go. Asteroid scan complete. 
That's, uh... Can I get there in one go? No. Fuck. Yo. Gonna have to refuel. H7H, 75X. Do I chance it? Do I chance it? Yeah, why not? Wait, seven jumps. Frame shift drive charging. That is ready to engage. Four, three, two, one, engage. Frame shift drive charging. Okay. Let's Four, get three, this fleet carrier. Two, one, engage. I'm not going to stick around with the fleet carrier in case it decides to jump. I mean, I'm assuming I can actually land on it. All these fleet carriers are for friendlies only. So, we shall see. We shall see. Fuel's Now's a good chance to refuel. Dear God. Right, getting out of here. We have some potential unwanted attention. Fuel squads engaged. They're quite close. Frame shift drive charging. The anarchy system going to next, so don't hang around there either. Five. I should be okay. Fuel scoop disengaged. So, all right. Frame 
frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, uh, right on top of me. Or not, actually. Frame shift drive charging. Scoop disengaged. Imang. System scan complete. Frame shift drive charging. Where's the blue key? H seven H seven H seven five X. New concept, what is it? What is it? What is it? In Korea. Mm. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. We gotta go. Two more jumps. Two more jumps. I'll do this. Let's hope that Korea is let me let areas let me drop Four, on it. Three, two, one. Engage. So if he's gonna, if they're selling it or buying it for six hundred, they could jump that carrier to the system where they're buying it for eight hundred and make quite a nice profit on it. So that's that's what I hope they're doing. I know. Fuel scoop disengaged. Oh, okay, well, that's so interesting, isn't it? Pristine reserves there. This could be an interesting one. Tembala. Fuel 
Right, okay. so now we need to find some fleet carriers. That's the one. H7H. Let's do it. Fuel scoop disengaged. The one. Why is that selling stuff so well? So, fleet carrier. Who owns this fleet carrier? Who owns this fleet? So Pico and poultry and pilots, departure plans, adaptation, documents, it's all. Okay. Let's check them out. They are meant to be offering just shy of 600,000 credits per tonne of mon monazite. So I've got 37 tonnes. We shall see. It's, a, I think it's over. But it's over the galactic average quite a bit. It's double what the average. Yeah. Pay attention. What are you doing? Loop of shame. Loop. Don't really want to be fighting off pirates. Inside the ring. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh. Why is it getting further away from me? Oh. Why? change of German base or whatever it is in the era. Come on, getting delirious space sickness. I see ships heading my way. Excuse me. Well, now I've always got a habit of approaching the landing pads from the wrong way. These bloody things. So this will probably happen again as well.
Yeah, I am. I am. Don't worry. Don't get your little knickers in a twist. where it is now. It's been a bloody landing pad at the moment. I think that's up there, right? There it is. Yeah, is it? Hey, which one is it? That's landing pad 16. That's loads. Who's it? It's one? Probably because he's basically ripping himself off. Coming in the wrong side again. This wouldn't be the first time. Oh, Jesus Christ, I've done it right. Apparently, into an aura. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, we're going to buy some of these, so look. Purchase. So, yeah, oh, okay. So, I'm going to get 22 million for one of This one here, so it's about that's 30 million I've made. I'm happy with that. Look at that, it's making my uh, bank balance look a lot more healthy than it has done for a while. Cool. And how's that affecting my overall entrepreneur? Look at that. Okay, let's um, let's get out of here. Got this system. <laughs> Stations are we going? Right, let's go and dock at this station. We'll call it a night. I think. The reason why I'm not staying in this fleet carrier, in case he decides or they decide to leave with me still on it.
Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Look at this, go to the station. She runs this system, so. Uh, both our commodities. Okay. Get to this station where we can crash out. Luca Shane coming up. We not. Let's see if I can land or hit your spaceport without smashing into the side of the mail slot. Which I am known for in this sector. Zero two. Fat boy coming in hot. Clear the runway. Pick out the paramedics. Scan detected. No, don't scan me. 
leave me alone. Just... I'm going too fast. If I'd maintained current heading, I would have flown straight to the side of the bloody mail slot, you muppet. Landing pad was it again? There's landing pads. I've just flown over landing pads. So there it is. Anyway. Uh, there appears to be a loose hatch down there. It's going to be the crappy landing pad. Warning. Landing gear not deployed. It is. Oh, it wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> landing gear deployed. Could have sworn that was down. What do I know? I thank you for flying, Budge Airlines. This has been your crafting speaking. Right, that's me done for the evening. For those that stuck around, well done. Well done. You, you deserve a medal. For those that didn't, you're not going to hear this. 07 Commanders, take it easy. Chat to you all later.